Hello, good morning students. In this session, I am going to explain about environmental impacts of irrigation. Irrigation is to agriculture as blood is to the human body. Introduction of irrigation results in changes in vegetation, the fauna and the flora, thereby altering the ecology of the command area. These improvements have added <coughs> advantage of a chain reaction in many spheres which lead to a more prosperous life for the people of the area. Lands which were once barren, infertile and sandy human with activity with green pastures, verdant forests and teeming population. The human environment too changes as a result thereof. Development of irrigation is alone effective in combating the natural disasters like droughts and the single most promising short and long term means of reducing poverty and generating employment. It helps removing disparity in living standard of the population in rain fed and irrigated areas. The per capita income in the latter being three to four times that of the former. Irrigation has brought about stability in agricultural production and has made significant contribution in the attainment of self-sufficiency in food and hence agricultural independence. All reforms mooted in agriculture will not bear fruit if irrigation facilities are not there to fructify them. Irrigation is an instrument of national integration by developing facilities are not there to national integration by developing backward and barren area and thereby bringing them into national mainstream. The long distance mass transfer of water stored in many uh, in uh, water stored in man-made lakes virtually amount to transportation of snow and rainfall from Himalayas. Himalayas to water starved areas like Thar desert of Rajasthan thereby removing regional imbalance. <coughs> the development of irrigation to meet the ever increasing food requirements of the country has however certain adverse environmental effects with the greater emphasis on multiple cropping. The intensity of uh, integration in most of the irrigation system is increasing substantially which can lead to water logging and salinity. salinity. However, irrigation development by itself is not responsible for drainage related problems. Lack of adequate drainage provision, improper water management, seepage from canals, obstruction 
to natural drainage on account of various developmental activities have gradually resulted in water logging and soil salinity or alkalinity in the in some common areas proper drainage of the common areas is a sign corn sign corn non to mitigate the adverse environmental effects of irrigation <laughs> systems of irrigation there are different uh, systems of irrigation to supply the water irrigation may broadly be classified into two type one is surface irrigation and second one is subsurface irrigation in this some of the factors affecting for uh, the choice of the method of irrigation are soil characteristics of the land to be irrigated topography of the country slope of land surface roughness of the surface etc size of the stream supplying irrigation water to the land to be irrigated available water supplies and the rate of advance of irrigating water length of run and time required for wetting the total area of the land to be irrigated the water requirements of the crops growing and the and the growth habits of the plants rate of infiltration of the soil depth of the root zone of the plants depth of, depth of the water table possible erosion hazard and amount of water to be applied during each irrigation further the method of irrigation should be selected that following the some objects objectives are fulfilled while providing water to the land to be irrigated the method should be such that uniform water distribution with as small as 6 cm water depth applications can be made for light irrigations at the same time it should afford heavy uniform application of 15 to 20 cm water depth it should allow the use of large concentrated water flows for reduction of conveyance losses and labor cost it should be suitable for use with economic conveyance structure it should be such that mechanized forming is facilitated as far as possible minimum soil erosion takes place reuse of water is made possible minimum land is utilized for field channels borders so that as far as possible maximum land is made available for cultivation so in the next video we'll discuss in detail about the surface irrigation methods what are the uh, methods uh, adopting for irrigation in surface irrigation thank you